The interview of Lady Bracknell with Ernest is quite interesting, but Oscar Wilde has hidden a social style in her interview. Hi, I am Asad Imran and you are watching The Assimilators. Let's dig deeper into the social style hidden in the importance of being earnest. As usual, you can see the typed version in the description or by enabling captions in YouTube player. Introduction The importance of being earnest is from top to bottom a literary style. A satire is a literary device which is implied to ridicule the follies, abuses, stupidity and faults of either an individual or an entire society in the notion of not to defame it but to reform it. Oscar Wilde, a top-tier satirist, developed satire in his quote, trivial comedy for serious people to ridicule as well as reform the shallow Victorian society, who took a great deal in forming many minute but noticeable social injustices through the flawed characters who are deformed by the morals of the Victorian civilization. Before going any further, here is an important message. 88% of you watching this video are not subscribed. It would do me a great favor if you would hit that round subscribe button with due care. Satire within the title The importance of being earnest is in itself a satire. While subtly uses earnest in two ways, earnest for honest and earnest for the serious. But if we look closely in the play, no one is earnest in the play. Everyone is doing the opposite of what is said in the title. Jack is earnest as earnest, a fictitious brother just to woo his Gwendolyn, who is passionately obsessed with the name Ernest. The same goes for Algernon and Sicily. Algernon resorts to Bunbring, a similar but polite intrigue to ensnare Sicily in her devotional web of Ernest. When comic relief is achieved, Jack mockingly asserts to Lady Bracknell that he has finally realized the vitality of being Ernest. Thus, the title and the place ending lines suggest a moral lesson with the mild satire that is essential to be Ernest than Ernest which is merely a name, satire on the institution of marriage. Marriage was a crucial problem as an institution during the Victorian era. Women were not allowed to choose their future life partners, neither did the men. Both of them were selected based on their social status and the amount of wealth they possessed. In the particular play, we find Lady Bracknell hunting for the husband for her daughter who fits exactly to her three C's rule. That is why she rejects Ernest in the garb of Jack because his orphanage is a hindrance in knowing his true identity despite him being wealthy. Marriage was dull and devoid of any constructive passion. Marital freedom was termed as a fantasy those days. Satire of Characters Characters play a significant role in highlighting themes and satires in the most prominent way possible. The importance of being earnest is a satire of characters in two senses. Firstly, if we take the casual meaning of character, yes, I am talking about an individual's nature, Kirdar, then this play shadows a shallow characteristic trait. People's character in this play is not determined by their actual character, but by other socio-economic factors, including cash and class, hence the three C's rule. If we measure this play in terms of its characters, imaginary people, satire is seen in the action of every character. For instance, Algernon, a wealthy person, throws parties during every notable occasion but still proclaims to be short of money. Jack is the opposite of the gaiety found in Algernon. He sometimes appears profoundly serious that Sicily tends to call her guardian, quote, unwell. Speaking of Sicily, the girl is so enamored of the name Ernest that she purchases an engagement ring on the behalf of the unknown man. Gwendolyn, another aristocratic gentle girl, is farcically obsessed with the name Ernest, calling it, quote, divine, which has, quote, a divine music of its own. Dr. Chasuble, although he is a Christian priest, but he still quotes references from pagan authors. Miss Prism is portrayed as an absent-minded lady who forgets her son in a railway station. Thus, such satirical foolies of characters are depicted as, quote, historical absurdities of the prestigious Victorian age. Conclusion Manifestly, Weil represents the satirical image of the renowned Victorian society through characters, title, and marriage in the importance of of being earnest elegantly and playfully. Sources used for this video are currently being displayed.